Breaking news. Anti-open grazing law. Maetiala displaying ignorance. Ignorance. South South governors replies them. Hello, my wonderful people. You all are aware of what has been going on. And the Southern governors are not taking this thing with levity at all. They are on point and on, I mean, on this matter saying we cannot let our people's life become a jeopardy because some people want to graze cow. Excuse me, which kind cow meat be this one? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Make we get all the details. Anti-open grazing law. Maitiala displaying ignorance. South, South Governors. Fulani Cattle Breeder Association has appealed to President Muhammadu Buhari and the National Assembly to do everything possible to frustrate anti-open grazing law being passed by some Southern Governors across the country, describing the law as satanic against their long-aged heritage and tradition. The cattle breeders operating under the alliance of Maetiala expressed concern over the actions of the states, particularly the southern states, insisting that they were counterproductive to their known economic business. National Publicity Secretary of the group, Sally Hassan, at a briefing in Abuja yesterday, described the ranching method of rearing cattle as a captivity in the anti-open grazing law, that they cannot stay in a ranch. Ranching as envisaged by many requests massive capital investment and difficult to sustain, not economy, not economically, and is not small life scale holders that can carry out ranching. Consequently, he called on the National Assembly to come to their rescue of the pasteurites by by ensuring they pass a new law to counter that of the Southern Governors and passing the Grazing Reserve Commission Bill, another livestock management bill initiated by the previous National Assembly. He said if the anti-open grazing law are allowed, economic activity of the pastoralists will be completely destroyed. The Fulani Social Cultural Organization insists that the country must, instead of press, pressing ahead with the anti-open grazing law, key into strategic ways in responding to the challenges of climate change as it affects livestock production and other areas rather than focusing on them, the full and ease, and profiling them. Hassan stated, we want the National Assembly and President Muhammadu Buhari to intervene and stop the current attempt by some governors, and some state governors, especially the South, to criminalize our means of economic livelihood, our ancestral tradition that we have received from time immemorial and passed on from generation to generation. Our livelihood is cattle rearing through encroachment of satanic laws being passed on by some people who are criminal minded. Anti-open grazing law is targeted at the Fulani Fulani pastores, not any other tribe. The federal government must create a federal ministry of livestock and fisheries as obtainable in many African countries. Government should take an inventory of all existing grazing reserve, traditional grazing area, and major stakeholders' rules in fully de de uh, and fully develop them in one grazing reserve in each and one grazing reserve in each sanitarial district in line with the recommendation of an internal ministerial committee livestock development in nigeria in 2015. the report of the presidential committee on pasturates and livestock in 2014 and the national livestock transformation program noting that the populist and corrupt driven agenda designed to destroy pastorate means of livelihood must be stopped immediately. The Southwest governors are after us. They want to destroy us. The law will undermine the, the relative peace and stability the country is currently enjoying and threaten social economy. The law will exterminate cattle ranching in local communities and the law will make people to become violent, which will lead to instability in the country. The law will lead to serious in, in human crisis and families will be destabilized. Markets and economic life stocks will be disrupted. Law will lead to massive growth 
cross-border migration that will further challenge our security. We want the government to intervene. The Southern Governors has replied saying these people are showing gross ignorance reacting to the southern governor's call chairman of the south south governor's forum governor of delta state dr ife okowa said the group had only displayed its ignorance of the law okowa who spoke through his chief press secretary olisa said the show of their it shows the level of their education and law and knowledge of the law. National Assembly will tell governors to stop making laws to govern their states. Where is that done? In which part of the constitution? Governors are making laws to govern their states. A group is saying the National Assembly should ask the governors to stop making those laws to govern their states and destabilize the level of... It goes to show how ignorant they are. It goes to demonstrate the level of their education, knowledge and understanding of the law. Where has it been done? Because someone is the president and belongs to the same tribe? The National Assembly cannot stop the state governors from making laws that governs and keep their people in peace and make, them, make the land governable for them. So you want to contest the position of the governor because you are a group of people who are carrying out your personal private business. The governors are not trying to make law to change any federal law. They are making law for good governance of their states. And this is their constitutional entitlement. I don't know how they see the National Assembly to go ahead and commit abnormality. Where is that done? Governor Ife, why you don't ask all the question? We don't know which one will go fair as answer. Because as the matter they be so, eh? Now so that they think, oh. Now so their thinking pattern just be. Buari in position, so nobody can nobody can tell them not to do A B C D Z. Buari is in position, so they are the ones to determine what will happen. Buari is in position. This is the kind of mindset and ideology they flaunt, they carry around, and that's why things are the way they are. That's why the country is the way it is, because they have a mindset that Buari is there, and nobody, I repeat, nobody can tell them not to stand up. Nobody can tell them this is wrong. And that's why Buhari has not been speaking. With all the senseless killing, unprovoked, even if you are provoked, the constantly you keep it saying. The war, not that they hit the war. Anyway, my people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.